Looking at transformations using x, y, and l1 and l2, we add or subtract the actual number we want to move. So if I'm looking at uh, x, y, and I'm moving to the right, then I'm going to have x, and I'm moving to the right, plus a value, a, let's say, comma, y. It actually has a plus because I'm moving to the right. And if I'm looking at l1 and l2, then I know that my L3 is my X, so I'm going to take L3 equal to my L1, and I'm going to add that A value to that as well. If I'm looking at moving left, I'm going to subtract from my actual X values. So that means when I'm looking at X minus A, because I'm subtracting a value, and Y stays the same, or I have L3, which is my X, equal to L1 minus a value of A. So I'm moving to the left. And if I'm looking at up, I know that means my Y values are going to change. So that means that my X stays the same, but now my Y is going to go up, so I'm going to add an A value to the Y. And Y is L4, so I'm looking at L4 equal to L2 plus A. I'm actually adding that value to L2 this time because L2 and L4 are Y. And if I'm moving down, that means I'm working with the Y again. So I have X comma Y minus A because I'm moving that Y value down. Or I have L4 equal to L2 minus A. So I'm subtracting from the actual value of X from the X or the Y on those. If I'm looking at reflected over the X axis, that means that my Y values are going to change to negative values. So that would change my Y to a negative Y. It would change those actual Y values. And if I'm looking at L4, it's going to be equal to a negative L2. And if I look at reflected over the y-axis, that means the x values change signs to their opposite. So that means I have a negative x, because I'm going to change the sign of x, and the y stays the same. So that would mean I would have L3, because that's my x values, equal to a negative L1. And now we're going to look at vertical stretch. We're only looking at vertical. So if I look at the x value, it'll be the same. And if I'm stretching, then I have to multiply. So I have an A value times my Y because I'm stretching it vertically. And that would mean I would have L4 equal to an A value times L2. So I'm actually multiplying by that value. And when I look at it, that A value is what I'm going to multiply the Y values by. So let's look at the example problems. And number three, go ahead, pause the video and see if you can get the answer for number three, graphing. When I look at graph L3 equal to L1 plus 2, that means that my x values, because L1 and L3 are added, we add 2 to each one. And then my Y values, it says 2L2, so I'm going to double the L2, which is my Y values. So in this case, if I start with my point up here, my X value is going to increase by 2, so that means negative 2 plus 2, I'm on the Y axis. And then if I double the actual Y value, which is 3, so I have the point negative 2, 3, so negative 2 plus 2 is going to get me 0, and then 3 times 2 is going to get me 6. So I'm going to move over 2, and then I'm going to stretch it to 6. So up here, I'm going to have this point. And then if I take my point over here, I have 4 comma 1. So if I add 2, I'm going to be at 6. And if I stretch that 1 value times 2, so that would be 2. So I would be at 6, 2. And then down here, I have my x value is 2, and my y value is 
negative 5. So if I add 2, I'll be at 4. And if I multiply by 2, I'll be at negative 10. So I move 4, negative 10. So I go over to 4, and then I go all the way down to negative 10. And then I connect my triangle. Go ahead and pause the video and try number 4. Looking at this, my x values are L3 and L1. So I'm going to take the x values and subtract 1. And then I'm going to take half of L2. So this is going to shrink it. If I look at this point over here, I am at negative 5, 1. So if I subtract 1 from the x, I get negative 6. And if I multiply by a half, I get 0.5. So I'm going to put this point at negative 6.5, which is going to be right here halfway up. And if I look at this point up here, I am at 3, 4. So if I subtract 1 to move it, and I get 2, and then take and multiply by 0 0.5, I get 2. So this point is going to move to 2, 2. And then this point over here, I have 6, negative 2, or negative 1, 2, negative 3. And if I subtract 1, that becomes 5. And if I multiply by 0.5, I get negative 1 and a half. So this point is going to move to 5, negative 1 and a half, which is here. And this point, if I have negative 3 negative 5, and I subtract 1, and I get negative 4, and I multiply by 0.5, I get negative 2.5. So negative 4, negative 2.5 is right here. So now if I connect those points, I have shifted backwards 1 and shrunk it down by half.